The Civil Affairs Functional Specialty Team, along with Camp Lemonnier's Kennel Master, have been here for the past week in a subject matter expert engagement with the Kenyan Defense Force 1st K-9 Regiment. This has been a very productive week, exchanging information, as well as strengthening our relationship with the two militaries. Our focus was on the military working dog in the aspects of first aid, combat casualty care, and handler proficiencies. The military working dog is an asset to both militaries as well as a force provider. Does she jump or does she bite the leg? Oh, oh really? She's really tough. This week in Kenya, we've been working with the 1st K-9 Regiment out here, the Kenyan Defense Forces, all three services of the branches, Army, Air Force, and their Navy. So we got to do a lot of patrol training, which is like controlled aggression, basically breaking it down to working the dogs to where they're able to subdue a suspect by biting them and apprehending them and holding them in place until the military police officer or the dog handler can get up and safely apprehend the suspect. We were also doing some IED recognition um, while they're searching for explosives, showing the handler that if they pay attention to their surroundings and they do a pre-search assessment before they start conducting their search, um, how to locate that there might be an IED in the area so instead of them sending their dog down into a dangerous area, they're able to recognize that there might be a danger up ahead and they can mark it and go ahead and return to safety. So let's move up. There's no actual explosive motor for the dog. This was for you to find, which you did awesome. Better than others because they didn't find it. Um, so we'll move up and you can come see it. Come on. Having the mine detection dogs and the explosive search dogs that we use on the vehicles, we've been um, a good resource to our commanders, especially along the borders and the entry points into the country, because it's been a deterrent. The 1st K-9 Regiment has a lot of knowledge to share. They've been explaining a lot of the different tactics they've used to fight the extremists in the area, different IEDs they've been finding in the area as well. And they've also showed me different ways they've been utilizing their dogs to be a psychological deterrent. Military working dog handlers, it doesn't matter what branch of service you serve for or what country you even come from. At the end of the day, we're military working dog handlers. We have the same passion and desire to work with dogs and to utilize them to save lives, 